Greetings, fencers. The next plays described are for the crooked hue, Kumfal. All the plays shown can be done from Fontag on the shoulder or Schrankut, barrier guard. The von Danzig Fechtbuch is specific about it being done with the long edge for most plays, although different masters sometimes show the short edge. It counters the guard ox by cutting around the cross guard or forcing them to parry. It can also be done more directly to the hands, but will require more commitment. When someone is an ox, their weak is more susceptible to mutating, and the overbind from the crooked cut utilizes this nicely. You can counter any cut from above or below with the Kung Fao. When I see this play demonstrated, I often see it with a good hewing cut and one step. I have personally never pulled that off, and don't see it as a plausible thing to do, especially against a diagonal cut. Perhaps I would work in real life in cutting off the hands of being safe from the sword. However, by utilizing multiple steps and using tag hits with just the point to the hands to disable fingers and hands, you're able to maintain good distance. When striking crooked to the flat of their sword, you can wind in if they are strong in the bind with a short edge cut or thrust. If their sword is hit hard, you can have enough time to get a hewing cut with a half or full rotation. You should note that people only strengthen themselves in two directions at a time. If they cut and strengthens forwards, they are susceptible to left and right force. If they are just holding in long point, they haven't weakened themselves laterally and they can't excessively be weakened. Leaving the bind will often result in a double hit on them. Make sure you're using winding if they're in long point. It's an interesting phrase because it means two different things. Because the crooked strike isn't always threatening your opponent, if it's too lateral then he can change through on you. Be conscious about making your strike diagonal so it covers a large area. Alternatively, if your opponent starts trying to bind or parry your crooked cut, then change through and thrust to the other side, covering their sword. Be ready to wind if they're strong in a second bind. Preparing a crooked cut leaves your other side open as an invitation. If your opponent is trying to use feints and deceptions, and is striking into your strikes without fear or with little regard for your safety, then using the crooked cut gives you an overbind and a safe way to force engagements and control thrusts. At a large distance there is a failure or feint mentioned, going through the crooked cut and coming to a cut in a different opening, best used with the short edge. The Crooked Cut is very versatile in as many forms. Be sure to utilize stepping and the overbind. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing. I just don't have the mobility to get from here to there and cut you. Oh.